ค่ะ Minister of Finance มิสเตอร์อาคมเติมพิทยาภัยสิทธิ์ Governor Bank of Thailand ดรเศรษฐพุทธสุทธิวาฒนารพุทธ Chairman of the Board of the Stock Exchange of Thailand ดรประสานไตรรัตน์วรกุล President of the Stock Exchange of Thailand ดรพากรปีตะทวัชชัย And Chairman of Association of Securities Companies มิสเตอร์พิเชษสิทธิอำนวย Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to you all to Thailand Focus 2022. My name is Kamon Chanok Pukhaya Pon, and I am delighted to be your MC throughout the day. This year marked the 16th year of our flagship event of the Thai capital market and the longest portfolio investment conference in Thailand. This year's theme is a new hope, which highlights post-pandemic Thailand and the next steps in creating new opportunities and for growing. Thailand Focus 2022 is arranged by the Stock Exchange of Thailand with a Kai collaboration from ASCO, Association of Securities Company, and Blurk as our media partner. The Stock Exchange of Thailand is also an official communication partner of APEC 2022 Thailand. Ladies and gentlemen, may I now invite Dr. Park Gon P. Tatwach, President of the Stock Exchange of Thailand, to deliver his welcome address. Minister of Finance, Mr. A. Kom Term Pitya Paisit, Governor, Bank of Thailand, Dr. Setaput Tiwat Nariput, Distinguished Guest, it is a great pleasure to extend a warm greeting to all of you at Thailand Focus. The Stock Exchange of Thailand's annual flagship event to showcase the Thai market to investors all over the world. After two years of virtual activities amid the global pandemic, the Thailand Focus 2022 event is returning to a setting. The new hope is the theme for this year, and it is not just it's the gimmick that we are a fan of Star Wars, but we do believe in the storyline of the new hope. Thailand Focus will demonstrate the resilience and ability of the Thai economy and capital market to withstand challenges successfully recover from the pandemic, adapt to the new possibilities, and create businesses for the new economy and global trend, and once again serve as an appealing investment venue for international investors. In the afternoon session, you will observe how Thailand traditional business adjust to the new normal environment. For example, food tech, which is the core strength and future growth engine of the Thai economy is now emerging with new industry trends that focus more on health conscious food, such as plant based meal and medicine food. For tourism, a new tourist chapter of health and medical living and long term residence is growing. The tourism industry now capitalizes on Thailand's strength in line with global demographic change. Also, you will get a flavor of how Thai economies are growing and advancing. We have seen in recent years the new breed of companies that have been listed on the stock exchange, for example, those in the digital transformation, those in new S-curve industry. It's also evident that investors have asked to meet with small and medium-sized businesses, especially in the new economy industry, in a strike with the number. In addition, recent crisis and disruption suggest that the corporate need to adapt in order to keep up with the major global dynamics. It is important to follow sustainability principle and take into account not only the ESG factor, but also flexible and agile component. Thai companies are transformed rapidly as they bless a more diverse, sustainable, and innovative strategy approach to building resilient, agile business 
that can meet existing and future economic opportunity and challenges. Thai companies nowadays do not rely on industry anymore. The diversification provides a business the ability to grow and endure. To illustrate, you will have a chance to listen to how the energy industry is expanding into other industries such as telecommunication and digital asset industry. The oil refinery is now having not just the oil uh, refinery, but also have battery and electricity production. Cement producers are now developing into a new value chain of industry. We believe that Thailand Focus 2022 will increase investor confidence and point to new opportunities in Thailand. You will witness Thailand new hope from the strength of the Thai capital market and Thai listed company. It's exciting trend that you may see in both traditional new and truly new new batches of company and their adaptation to the world of the future. That's about the new hope to be explored at the Thailand Focus 2022 from a fantastic lineup of speakers and panelists. I wish to conclude my remark by saying, may the Thailand Focus be with you always. The next session will be the keynote addressed by His Excellency Minister of Finance, Mr. Akom Termpitiya Paisit. Please welcome His Excellency. สวัสดีครับดีก้าวเหนือของแบงก์ไทยแลนด์ดีแชร์แมนของบอร์ดและบอร์ดอัพเดเรคเตอร์ของสต็อกเอ็กซ์เชนจ์ของไทยแลนด์ประธานของสต็อกเอ็กซ์เชนจ์ของไทยแลนด์เอ็กเซนซีส์อัมบาสเดอร์ดิสติ้งกิชเคสเลดี้สและผู้ชมนะครับสวัสดีครับทุกท่านทั้งหมดในห้องนี้และออนไลน์ First of all, let me thank the Stock Exchange of Thailand in inviting me again to deliver opening speech and keynote address. The topic today is very timely to talk about the new hope or the future of Thailand after facing difficulties over the last two years of pandemic. Last year on 17th of August, I spoke in this forum about the economic trend and future of Thai economy in 2022, in which we expected our economy would gradually recover, and we did it. We, would, we could witness the 1.5% of GDP growth last year, which was better than most of analysts expected, but it was still below what the optimism of 4 to 5%. The reason was mainly due to the continued spreading of subvariant of the COVID-19. In November last year, the government began to reopen our economy by introducing the Phuket Sandbox and later expanded to other tourist sites. Also, all restriction measures on overseas traveling had been removed in early February, February of this year to facilitate our tourism industry. Ladies and gentlemen, the last two years has been challenging to say the least. The outbreak of the COVID-19 has had an immense impact on the Thai economy. As we were about to emerge from the pandemic, we were untimely faced with unprecedented geopolitical tensions that caused a sharp rise in commodity prices, putting more upward pressure on inflation and the overall economy. In spite of this, the Thai economy has been resilient and continue on its path towards sustainable recovery, following the return of economic activities from export of goods, particularly last year, and tourism and domestic demand. Therefore, 
As we approach the last quarter of this year, we expect that the Thai economy will continue to expand gradually, which will bring the full year of 2022 growth to the neighborhood of 3 to 3.5 percent. Ladies and gentlemen, the Minister of Finance has been playing an important role in supporting economic recovery. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the Ministry of Finance implemented two major emergency loan decrees with a total amount of 1.5 trillion Thai baht. The expenditures from the emergency decree helped relieve the impact on all affected citizens, provided adequate healthcare equipment, including vaccines, as well as programs to enhance the purchasing power of the consumer to stimulate domestic spending. Moreover, the government recognized that the public, especially the lower income individuals, have been seriously affected by the rising cost of living. That is why we have urgently implemented various targeted measures, including subsidizing cooking gas, for street vendors and state welfare card holders, regulating cooking gas prices, subsidizing petrol for motorcycle taxis, subsidizing NGV for taxi drivers, maintaining diesel price and retail NGV price, subsidizing electricity bill and the diesel excise tax cuts. Regarding the financial measures, the Ministry of Finance, through the policy guidance to the special, specialized financial institution and in close collaboration with the Bank of Thailand, have launched various programs to alleviate the burden of the private sector's cost of living and cost of doing business, especially households, SMEs, and corporates and additionally enhance the financial liquidity by providing soft loans, credit guarantees, and debt restructuring. Ladies and gentlemen, despite fears of world recession, our economy will remain strong with stability, both physical and financial. This year, our government revenue collection will be on target. I can confirm. The public debt ratio will be within the new ceiling. As of June, our public debt level is 61.06% of GDP, as compared to the ceiling of 70%. On the issue of the monetary policies, big thanks to the Bank of Thailand that has been implementing highly accommodative monetary policy in response to the COVID-19. This has kept borrowing costs his historically low, allowing the government to fund additional stimulus measures, as well as the private sector to recover from the pandemic. Ladies and gentlemen, let me now turn to sharing views about Thailand's future beyond COVID-19. In a way, this has provided us with an opportunity to readjust our growth model. We can no longer focus on growth and ignoring the alarming issues of social disparity and climate change. Therefore, the government has put more focus on how to transform the economy towards a high-value-added economy that is more balanced, inclusive, and environmentally friendly. In this regard, the government's guiding policy on the bio-circular green economic model is now becoming the national agenda. This underscores the government commitment in working towards the target of zero carbon emission in 2065. The four strategic areas for the BCG model are based on economic foundation and strengths, namely food and agriculture, medical and wellness, energy, material, and biochemical, including bioplastic, and tourism and creative economy. 
Following the mentioned guiding policy, the government's agenda is now to create more growth in the future. This is, this is very much in line with the discussion in the next session, I believe. There are four areas that I would like to mention. Area of focus to be addressed as follows. First, the government will continue to invest in infrastructure in all areas, not only physical infrastructure, but also invest in human capital and digital technology and innovation. We could see for the last eight years, our investment in, in infrastructure is highest amount uh, over the, the, the decade. But still, I think we believe that the, uh, we still have lots of the uh, infrastructure projects, particularly in transport sector, energy, and public utilities that needs to be accelerated. Second, the government together with the private sector is fully committed to accelerate the development process in the Eastern Economic Corridor or EEC where the area will create our new growth and our 12 new targeted industries. Third, the government will further create the quality green growth in our economy in all sectors, agriculture, manufacturing, and services. For example, electric vehicle is one of our target industry that all tax and non-tax supporting measures have been endorsed by the cabinet. And fourth, financial resource mobilization is needed to support this new growth model. Financing should be geared to more green investment. It should be noted that the Minister of Finance was successfully issued the sustainability bond for the first time in 2020 to finance the mass transit system projects in Bangkok and we will do more. Our ASEAN friends are now on the same track. On the other hand, financial inclusion and accessibility are keys to close the gap between financial institutions and SMBs, startups and grassroots people. Other source of funds particularly capital market, venture capital, and cloud funding are also supported by the government through the tax measures. Ladies and gentlemen, before I finish, I would like to mention that now we are about to turn the corner of COVID-19 challenges to opportunities. The government's physical position, again, I would like to mention remain strong as reaffirmed by all credit rating agencies. Our debt to GDP has risen, but remains low by international standards, with ample physical space remaining if more stimulus is needed. This puts us in a sound position to provide the financing required to transform the economy going into the post-COVID-19 world. To conclude, I believe that all of you will gain valuable insights on the outlook of the Thai economy from many prominent speakers today. I would also like to take this opportunity to express my gratitude to you all for your interest in Thailand. And I encourage you to be a part of the new exciting chapter of transforming of the Thai economy. I wish the conference today a great success. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the opening speech. May I ask the Minister of Finance to kindly remain on the stage for a photo session. So invite the following executives to be on the stage, please. Governor Bank of Thailand, Dr. Setakut Sutiwad Naraput. Chairman of the Board, the Stock Exchange of Thailand, Dr. Prasan Trairat Warakun. President of the Stock Exchange of Thailand, Dr. Pagon Pita Thwachai. 
and Chairperson Association of Securities Company, Mr. p i c h e s i t h i a m n o y So, ladies and gentlemen, for the past two years, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Thailand Focus has been organized in a virtual format. This year, we are delighted to announce that this is the first time in two years that we are able to hold the event in a hybrid session. This includes both private meetings on site and virtual meetings to facilitate and keep the investors updated with the investment situation in Thailand. The theme for Thailand Focus 2022 is the new hope, which highlights issue in several aspects related to businesses and investment of Thailand post-global pandemic, as well as looking forward to the future, how Thailand will be, and how important sectors in Thailand will be, because these sectors are considered as a very important engines for the Thai economy. Thank you very much to all the executives for the photo session.